Hello? Hey, it's Miranda. Hey, how are you? Okay, honey. I don't have good news for you. Yeah, I figured because I was spotting a little bit. Yeah, I'm so upset now because everything looks so good and, you know, you were ovulating like perfectly. Yeah. How's, um, I was just question like, were, like, wondering, how's the progesterone? The progesterone's at 13 now. Oh, okay, so it dropped down. Yes, it did. And you it think did. that's from the, um, the suppositories, or that's just because it probably wasn't pregnant or anything? No, well, if there isn't any pregnancy, the progesterone stopped rising, Oh. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I got you. So guys, as you saw from that previous clip, I am not pregnant. The IUI did not work. I really had hope for this month, like badly. I thought this would be our month. I really did. I felt it. I felt like it would be um, this morning. I even thought I saw a faint positive in a first response pregnancy test. But I guess that was my mind because my husband couldn't see it. I guess that's just me wanting it so badly. They say to, you know, act pregnant and be so positive so that you can get a good, you know, I don't know what I'm saying. Act pregnant, be positive so that you can be pregnant, but honestly, it's so hard for me to remain positive in infertility journey because things like this happen. Yeah, it's part of it. It's part of you know, um, I just can't believe it's over. It's part of the journey to have negative pregnancy tests. I know I dealt with it. But it's hard when you have so much hope built up and $2,000 in medication. <laughs> and now the cycle's done. And I was told that my eggs aren't being fertilized, but that I'm responding well to the medication, so something's happening. So now, I have to have surgery to see if there's anything blocking, to see if I have anything cis, endometriosis, and I'm terrified. I'm terrified to be put under, I know I'm a baby, but I am. I'm scared to be put under. I'm scared that they're going to find something wrong and I'm not going to be able to have kids. That IVF is the only way. Because she doesn't want me to do another IUI this month, even though I wanted to. She says she wants to do the, the surgery first to just make sure that everything looks good. This is just so hard, like a hard pill to swallow. Sorry guys, this is just real. And I'm sorry for the inconsistent clips and the sound in these videos. I was recording it on my regular camera. I'm sorry I let everybody down. I know everybody was wanting it so badly for my husband and I. As much as we wanted it. I'll keep you guys posted. I have a doctor's appointment on the 22nd. To talk about the surgery and to talk about all the stuff that comes with that and what I have to do and I have to do blood work and all this stuff. I was prescribed more folic acid and I have to be on B12. I don't know what else to do. I feel like not even doing the surgery and just giving up. But I know I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do the surgery and I just pray that. It all works out. Baby dust to everybody and Merry Christmas.